We've looked at a lot of financial products designed for teenagers here on the channel, but two of the best bank accounts that have emerged in that category are the Copper Teen Banking Account and the Current Teen Banking Account. So today, let's brush up on everything that both of these products have to offer and hopefully help you decide which one is the best banking platform for teenagers today. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So as per usual with this versus style video, I have made separate reviews on both the current teen banking accounts as well as the copper bank account. So if you do want an in-depth look at either of these products, then I'll be sure to leave links to both of those videos down in the description below. And I do want to clarify that while current has sponsored videos in the past on my channel and I would love to work with them again in the future, neither current nor copper are sponsoring today's video. So with that out of the way, let's start off with the current teen banking accounts and then we'll move on to copper and see what they have to offer all right so if you haven't heard of the standard current account it's pretty awesome and i have also done a full review on that platform but as part of current's goal of revamping the way that we bank they have added a teen specific product that is an extension of the standard current banking platform so in order to get this account you will first either need to set up a standard current account if you are the parent in this situation or as a teenager you will have to have your parent or guardian set up that current account account. Then from there, it is really easy for the teen to open up an account, link the two together, and that's where the true advantage of this entire platform lies. So yes, as is the case with pretty much any financial product for teenagers, this does require you to have a parent or guardian to keep an eye on things, which I know is a little bit frustrating in some situations, but as I've said many times before, the advantages that you're going to get with a product like this are going to far outweigh the minor inconvenience of having a parent or guardian constantly looking over your your shoulder. So look at the full current teen review for a step-by-step -step guide on how to link those two accounts together. But once you get everything set up, you as the teenager are going to get your own current card with your own name on it that you can use to spend money just like you would with a normal debit card. And that includes making purchases in person with your current card as well as online purchases. And through current's wonderfully designed app, you're also able to easily manage your money, create savings pods, utilize their roundup tools that will automatically round up your purchases purchases and set that money aside into your savings, set up automatic donations to your favorite charities, and of course, easily request and send money to and from your friends and family right from within the current app. And this is a fantastic way to get reimbursed for purchases that you may have made or getting your allowance or anything like that. Now, from a parent's perspective, you also have the ability to monitor your child's spending right from within your current app, and you can even select specific merchants where you don't want them spending their money. Obviously, you can pause and replace the card right from within the app as well and in general I would say that this is a simple and much more secure way to give your child that financial freedom and let them learn the value of money without giving them cash and hopes that you're going to get the change back because you and I know that that is probably not going to happen. Plus this account has no hidden fees, no minimum balance requirements, no overdraft fees or transfer fees but there is one major drawback that we have not yet talked about and that is that the current teen account currently costs $36 per year for each teenager. Now, this is a point that we're going to come back to later in the video when we compare it to the copper card, but what I will say for now is that what is essentially $6 per month might sound like a lot of money, and from a teen's perspective, it probably would be. But in my opinion, the value of teaching your child how to responsibly budget, save money, and learn all of those principles of financial literacy is truly invaluable, and in my eyes, $6 per month is a very small price to pay to teach those incredibly important financial lessons that will serve them so well throughout their life. Obviously, that is a decision that you will have to make for yourself, but I can honestly say that the wonderful and truly unique integration between your account and your teen's account and all of the benefits that come with that is well worth the small price of $6 per month, especially considering the standard current account has a completely free option with the ability to upgrade if you want to get some of those higher end premium features. All things considered, the current teen account keeps it fairly simple, but the entire design of the current app is meant to be very intuitive and easy to understand, especially for a younger audience. And the only big drawback here, in my opinion, is that $36 annual fee. All right, but moving on to Copper Bank. Again, I have done a full review on this platform if you want an in-depth look on this product. But unlike Current, Copper is specifically focused on banking for teenagers, and that is literally all that they do. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that this is inherently better or worse than any other teen platform, but it is nice to see that companies
companies are finally coming around to the idea of teaching teenagers those important financial lessons at a young age. So the copper card is going to function in a very similar way in the sense that you are going to get your own copper debit card that again you can use to spend money both in person and online just like you would with any other debit card. Your money is fully FDIC insured through Evolve Bank and Trust and you have liability protection through the MasterCard program plus the ability to withdraw cash at over 50,000 free to use ATMs that are scattered across the United States. This product also allows you to get your paycheck up to two days early using direct deposit which is pretty cool if you have a standard W-2 job as a teenager but it's also really easy to just get your allowance if that is something that your parent or guardian does for you and they can actually set up automatic allowance for you that makes it really easy for you again to create an effective budget and plan accordingly with your own finances. And just like the current accounts, Copper also has no hidden fees, no overdraft fees, no minimum balance requirements, but unlike current, the Copper platform is truly completely free across the board and it's free to download and use and really there is no major difference between these two products other than the price. I will say that the current app has nearly 100,000 reviews with nearly 5 stars on the iOS app store alone, while Copper only has 10,000 reviews with nearly 5 stars. However, that is not a fair comparison at all because again, Current is a broader platform that is catered towards a wider audience, while Copper is specifically aimed at teenagers, but that aside, both of these platforms are incredibly highly rated by their users, and in my opinion, it really is all going to come down to which platform is going to more easily integrate with your situation. And that's because on the surface, these products are nearly identical in the sense that they are both going to put a debit card in the hands of a teenager and allow them to responsibly save, spend, and budget their money, receive their paychecks or allowance while simultaneously allowing the parent or guardian to keep an eye on the teen's finances. Really the only major difference like I said earlier is the fact that the current card is $36 per year while copper is completely free. But what I will reiterate is that the integration and ability to have your entire family under one banking platform is truly unique to current and one of the things that I love most about that platform as a whole. That's not to say that copper doesn't have the ability for you to easily receive an allowance and things of that nature, but Current truly gives you the ability to, again, have not only your parent or guardian on the account with you, but multiple teenagers and even a secondary parent or other additional family member that you want to have part of your family's finances. And all of those different accounts are going to be intelligently tied together and will communicate with each other automatically, while also allowing each individual to keep an eye on their own finances and have their own separate accounts. Yes, I understand that 36 bucks per year might be a bummer, especially if you're looking at getting this for multiple teenagers, but I cannot reiterate enough how valuable the lessons are that a platform like this can teach you and your entire family, especially your teenagers. And honestly, they'll probably get more practical, real-world skills from a platform like this as compared to a four-year education that would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Obviously, that is an extreme scenario, but I guess the point I'm trying to drive home here is that if you're on the fence between these two platforms and you feel like you would love to have the ability to have your entire family under one platform, Platform, while also empowering each individual to have their own account, then I wouldn't allow that small fee for current to automatically drive you away from that platform. So again, strictly looking at the teen banking platforms, these two are nearly identical, but I think that for me personally, I have to look at the big picture and the industry acceptance of both platforms. So personally, I would go with the current platform between the two because I think it is just a more widespread and well-known tool. I love the fact that everything is able to be under one one app for your entire family, and having used both apps myself, I can confidently say that I do prefer the layout and interface of the current app. But as always, I would love to know what you think of these two products down in the comments section below and whether you prefer the copper teen banking account or the current teen banking account and why you feel that is the better financial tool for you. Again, I'll be sure to leave links to both of my full reviews on each of these platforms down in the description below if you do want to get some more in-depth information. So definitely check those out as well. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including one offer from the point cashback debit card that will currently give you $100 when you open your account and make your first purchase. So definitely check that out using the link down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.